Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a new video. Uh, this is going to be something a little bit different I'm going to be doing each month. You know I do my normal Blu-ray hauls of all the titles that I pick up during the month. Well this one is all is to do with the, the titles that I've purchased on Apple on iTunes for my Apple 4K TV. As you can see we're all set up over here so I'm going to flip the camera around and I shall show you what I've picked up and some other settings that I use as well. Let's do it. Okay so we're sitting very comfortably. The cat is actually looking at the camera wondering what the hell's going on but anyway okie dokie so we've got it all set up now. So these are my little apps that I've got down here don't really need eyes I player but I've got my Netflix set up together with Prime Amazon Prime and also YouTube as well so let's go up and first of all we'll go into my list okay so library Actually, first of all, let me show you the settings that I've got. So go over onto the settings and video and audio. Now I've got it set as 4K SDR. Um, I followed this on some tutorials on YouTube and I was also told by a mate of mine uh, to set it as 4K SDR. If you're setting it as 4K HDR, then you're kind of like forcing forcing the image uh, I don't know if that makes sense but if you use 4k SDR you're using the native transmission <laughs> I'm getting all the wrong words here the, you know what I mean the native signal uh, and also we've got chroma 4x4x4 and to match the content for the frame uh, the range of the frame rate as well to get the best picture right let's go back up to the library so as you can see up the top, uh, I've got 53 films and three TV programs. So if I go into the programs, so the first couple I picked up, this one I don't remember getting, so it must have been from a digital, um, I must have put a digital code in last year or something. Comic Strip Presents, which is more bad news which was Rick Mayle and Adrian Edmondson uh, and Nigel Planer and Peter Richardson uh, as part of the comic strip presents. It's basically about um, an 80s, a fictitious 80s rock band uh, trying to make it big. But it's really funny. It's really funny. So if we go back, uh, The Orville I picked up for £5.99. I'm happy I picked this up because I didn't want to pick up the DVD because it's it's uh, standard definition, whereas with the Orville we're on, we're, we're uh, high definition. So we've got all the episodes under there. So I'm, I'm glad I've got that on digital. Okay, so out of the 53 films that I've picked up, 47 of them are in 4K and HDR. So we'll go through them. A lot of these. I picked up in the recent iTunes sale stupid prices like uh, Blade Runner 2049 which was £2.99 I believe uh, let me just go into it and, and as you can see up the top it's 4k with Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos um, let's have a look and the good thing about this that I really really do like on iTunes is that when you go to play the movie you get all the nice menus like you do with um, you know the DVDs and, uh, and Blu-rays and 4Ks and down the bottom here you get features you get this is where you get all the special features so you get all like the, the design in the world of Blade Runner prologues you know all the special features that you wouldn't normally get and that's really good that you get that on digital and it does look absolutely gorgeous my TV is not Dolby Vision but uh, it, even though it states Dolby Vision but I sp it down thing is it to uh, to HD uh, HDR let's have a look let's go back a bit okay 
and so I've got Alien Covenant there. These are all 4K and HDRs. Baby Driver, as I say, most of these picked up for two pound ninety nine each. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Die Hard Two I picked up. Uh, Die Hard Two is not available on physical media um, for 4K, as you can see at the top. It's 4K and it's HDR. So I'm really happy that I was able to pick this up. Die Hard 4 or 4.0 is also available in 4K. And as you can see down here, we've got all the bits and pieces. Plus we also have the extras as well for Die Hard 2. So there's a couple of Die Hards that are not in, that are not in 4K. And I picked up the original Die Hard and obviously both Deadpools which I think came as a package about, I think it was just under six pound for both of them. And they're both in 4K, uh, HDR or was it Dolby Vision? Let's have a look, let's flip in and have a look. Uh, HDR with Dolby Atmos. Okay, so down here we've got Tom Hanks uh, in Forrest Gump. I've just recently picked that one up a couple of days ago. We've got The Greatest Showman, Hidden Figures, Independence Day, which are, I've seen that a couple of days ago. That is a gorgeous bloody picture. Absolutely gorgeous picture for, for Independence Day. And that's 4K HDR. And then come down, we've got Jurassic, uh, we've got Independence Day Resurgence there. I know it's not as good as the original Ind Independence Day, but it was £2.99, so I'm not going to sneeze at that. And we've got HDR there, Dolby Atmos. Um, plus, if we go into it, we'll get, we should get all the special features for that as well. Yes, there we go, all the extras. So, got all the makings of and stuff like that, and gag reels. And down the bottom here, got cast and crew. That tells you all about the cast and all the other films that that person was in so it's it's really in depth it's really in you know insightful and that kind of shit i'm <laughs> trying to get his words out um jurassic park uh, the original jurassic park gotta gotta have that in 4k definitely and then we've got jurassic park 3 jurassic world jurassic world fallen kingdom now you're wondering where's Jurassic Park Lost Kingdom? That it's uh, the Lost uh, the Lost World. It's actually in alphabetical order, so it's, it's probably down under the, because it's the Lost World, isn't it? First, uh, I've got Justice League, both Kingsmen, which I recently picked up. There it is. There's the Lost World. Uh, I've got Logan. Definitely got to have Life of Pi. Looks absolutely incredible. Looks absolutely beautiful with the HDR. I just love the menus and the thing is when you actually start the films I don't think I can do it from here but if I go into say play the film resume playing and if you want to skip to a scene then on the handset you just kind of like scroll down the top and it brings down the chapters and then you can just flip That's through cool. the chapters. So let's go back to the menu. Okay, so we've got Kong Skull Island plus the Martian, the Matrix. I've only got the first Matrix, so I need to get the other two. Uh, the Meg, definitely. Men in Black looks absolutely fantastic. We've got Rise of the Planet of the Apes, The Revenant, uh, Ready Player One, which completely blow my t blew my top of my head off when I watched this. I mean, I've got this on 4K physical disc and also 3D, but this looks absolutely gorgeous on on the on the Apple 4K as well. And this is 4K Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos. Prometheus looks gorgeous. Saving Private Ryan is one that I need to try out next. Um, because that are uh, supposed to be a massive powerhouse that one uh, I've got Shape of Water, Sicario, both Sicarios 
So I haven't actually got either of those on physical, so I need to check them out and see what they're like. Obviously, I picked up Skyscraper, looking gorgeous. Uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, which was one of the first ones I, I grabbed. Split, I think I picked up for about $1.99 or $2.99. Melissa McCarthy, got to have my Melissa McCarthy <laughs> in Spy. Such a funny film. Terminator 2, definitely got to have the old Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Bit of Arnie. I need to pick up some more as well. And that's in that's 4K HDR. And I like the way that, depending on what the film is, it kind of like blends the the background of the TV screen. So, you know, you get all these reds and the blues, depending on what the, the f actual film looks like. So, like, for instance, Star Trek Beyond... You know, you get all the, the oranges and the yellows that, that, that match the, uh, the, the look of the film. Uh, and this is actually, this looks really gorgeous as well. And um, we've got the uh, original Star Trek from J.J. Abrams. I can't wait for all of the other Star Trek films. I can't wait for, like, Generations and, and First Contact um, in 4K. Plus, we've got Terminator Genesis, which looked absolutely brilliant a couple of days ago when I watched that. We've got War for the Planet of the Apes, and we've got Wonder Woman as well. So a couple of these I picked up as once I got my 4K uh, Apple TV, which was just before Christmas. But as I say, most of them were picked up in this massive sale, this massive blowout sale that they had last week or the week before. So I, I must have picked up probably a good 30 to 40 titles. Uh, and as you can see on Wonder Woman here, Dolby Vision, Dolby Atmos 4K. So absolutely brilliant. Uh, now this is not going to replace my my physical media. I'm still purchasing physical media. But it's really nice to have this optional extra. You know, uh, more convenient. So I don't have to go upstairs if I want to put a film on. Don't have to, if I want to watch it down here, I don't have to go upstairs, pull out the Blu-ray or the 4K and come downstairs. But uh, I am still picking up physical media. That's that's never going to change. So that was the 4K and the HDR. Uh, if I go into films now, there'll be a couple of extra ones that are not in uh, HDR, not in 4K. I recently picked up Alien uh, because this is just the high definition version. But the 4K of Alien is coming out in a couple of months. So that will automatically get upgraded to 4K. And that's what that's a thing that I really like on on this uh, on this system, that um, you know they automatically upgrade it for you free of charge. Plus also uh, Black Swan, Black Swan was a part of a package. It was ten movies for nine pound. Uh, it was Black Swan, uh, Grand Budapest Hotel. Uh, it's Hidden Figures, which I'm looking forward to seeing. I haven't seen that. There's a couple of other ones as well that were thrown in. I think like Logan was thrown in and The Martian. Plus also Slumdog Millionaire as well. So that one's that was actually not a 4K, I don't believe. That was part of the package. Yeah, that's just a that's just a high definition one. But if a 4K version of that does become available, they'll up, they'll upgrade it free of charge. Plus uh, 500 Days of Summer, that was just thrown in with a package. Plus The Village as well, which is in high definition, which doesn't actually have a Blu-ray release. So it's really good having that. And I want to pick up some of the others down the bottom here. Like there's Lady in the Water. Yes, I know. Look, see how the background all matches the actual film. Uh, and this is like £7.99 to buy or £3.49 to rent. So hopefully that will get updated to 4K. So if we go back to the main menu and we can go down up to the movies section. Back a bit. Back a bit. Okay, so purchased top film. So current big films that are available uh, is the, the uh, A Star Is Born and the thing about the digital ones on the Apple 4K TV is 
the physical releases aren't actually out yet to buy so you do get them usually about two weeks early so this one is if you want to buy this one this is £13.99 comes with all the extras which is like half the price of the 4k uh, it will be available to rent from the 11th uh, but it does come a Dolby Vision Dolby Atmos so it's going to sound and look gorgeous uh, there's also Venom, which is coming out this coming Monday, so I'll be heading off for Venom Day, uh, and that one is available to rent on the 4th of February, but you can purchase it for £13.99. Uh, Ocean's, Ocean's 8, which is £13.99, but at the moment it's only 99 pence to rent for the 4K Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos. So if you're not sure if you want to buy it, rent it for 99p. I can't get the thingy on it. <laughs> rent it for 99p. That would be fantastic. Because then you can decide whether or not you want to buy it. Uh, and also ones down here like Captain America. These hopefully will be updated and upgraded to 4K eventually. Crazy Rich Asians. Uh, recent releases are The Predator. As you can see, the nice orange down the bottom there. You can actually rent that for four pound ninety nine um, instead of buying it. But if you do want to buy it, then it's nine pound ninety nine. But having said that, I mean these could very well turn up in the next big iTunes blowout. So you know you could be picking up these titles for like two pound ninety nine in a couple of months. Um, and this is the one that I wanted to pick up, but I wasn't sure whether I wanted to pay twenty five pound for the four K. I thought I might maybe just rent it first for a fiver and then I'll decide you know whether it's something that I want to actually purchase so there's a lot of titles there um, you get special features you know special um, cheapies like £5.99 this week only plus films at limited prices for a limited time and, and, and the, the prices will fluctuate every now and again so they'll go up and down um, top rentals I don't know if there's a section here for ah here we go pre-orders so we've got all these massive pre-orders in here so Bohemian Rhapsody look at the gorgeous look of that so pre-order this is available from the 16th of February uh, for £13.99 you get all the extras 4k HDR Dolby Atmos uh, March is out on physical so you can pick that up early I don't think there's a date yet for Aquaman or Grindelwald but First Man which I believe is out on the 18th I think it's out on the 18th of February but here again you can pick it up on the 4th so uh, from Monday you can actually purchase First Man to watch in glorious 4k Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos for eleven pound ninety nine, which is which is a, a steal. I know you might think, oh, you're only getting a digital copy for like twelve quid, but when you consider that the the physical release is nearly twenty six pounds, and it's if it's something that you're not sure you really want to spend a whole lot of money on, like twenty five quid, then it's probably better just to pick them up on the uh, on the four K. Plus, we've got Glass here and Bumblebee and loads of other ones as well. Um, what else have we got here? We've got Stan and Ollie. See, these are all future ones now. Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, which I didn't really like that much, but I might pick it up to see what it's like on 4K, um, probably through iTunes rather than the disc. I'm not sure yet, but um, we'll see how it goes. So that is my 4K iTunes haul for January. I'm now going to switch the camera around because I want to show you something else as well. Also, one thing that I wanted to show you that I've got as an app uh, on both my phone and my iPad is an app called Cheap Charts. So if I go into that, and this is specifically for Apple iTunes for the, uh, for the 4K. So this is where you can pick up lots of cheap deals 
Um, you've got lots of options down the side here, menus. There's a wish list, which are the, if there's any specific if, uh, any specific films that you want, you know that you want to keep an eye on for uh, reduced prices, then you can add the films to your wish list. Plus some, these are all the most recent deals, all the most recent reductions. Uh, and then you can go into the pre-orders. And as you can see, we've got the Nutcracker Four Realms, which at the moment uh, will be in 4K when it comes out. Show only showing as HD at the moment, but it's uh, nine pound ninety nine. But uh, there's no specific release date for that one yet. And bundles, film bundles. So you've got the Johnny English two movie set there. But uh, down here, recent edition, is the Dark Knight trilogy. And you get all three films, all in 4K. Uh, and the original price was like 17 99 and it's £12.99 for all, all three films. And these little arrows here, the, the greens and the reds, as you can see, the one in the middle there, the Dark Knight, that was originally four ninety nine, and the red going up means, it, unfortunately, the price has gone up to seven ninety nine. But the Dark Knight Rises at the bottom there, with a the green arrow pointing down, means it's good. Uh, because it was originally, I think that's eight ninety nine, and now it's seven ninety nine. So the prices fluctuate from time to time, and you get a string down the bottom here of the dates and the prices. See, at one point it was twenty four pound ninety nine. Uh, back in 2016 also new to 4k so all these are the ones that have um, I don't think that is no these are yeah that was bundles sorry that's bundles so new to 4k these are the ones that have recently been updated to 4k we've got uh, Annihilation there a lot of these are pre-orders as well like Mortal Engines uh, 4K movies, there's a sp specific tab to show you all the 4K movies that you've got on here. Um, let's find, see if we can find one. So we've got Deepwater Horizon, which has gone down. It was $7.99, is now $3.99. And as you can see there, there's the, the string. So it's $13.99 originally, the prices go down and then they go up and it fluctuates. And you've got the charts, so these are the most popular ones, all the most popular titles, and sales as well, where you can pick up all the cheapies. And you can switch it between music, uh, film, you can switch it between TV, just get all the TV seasons and things like that. Yes, and um, this is the little remote that you get with a nice little Apple, Apple logo on it. And you get the menu button there, plus also you get a microphone speaker, plus also uh, all the various menu buttons. So it's not too complicated. It's a very simple, very simple little remote. Uh, and the box is very small, which is sitting on top of the skybox at the moment. But uh, I hope you enjoyed my little first Apple 4K TV January haul. I'm going to have to come up with a proper title for that because... <laughs> Otherwise, I'm not going to run. I'm going to run, run out of letters. Oh dear! Up and down the stairs is wore me out. Yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you can get an idea of why the Apple 4K TV is attractive and why it is not a direct competitor to physical media, but an, a, a, a brother or a sister. You know, something that will accompany it. So. They can live side by side very happily. Um, but one might piss the other one off at one point. <laughs> Just waffling now. But yeah, I hope you can see, you know, the things that you do get. If you're not familiar with the system, then you can get an idea of the extras, the pricing, what kind of visual treat and, and sound you can get. Now, a lot, as I say, a lot of the 4K ones come with Dolby Atmos. Uh, but I haven't got a Dolby Atmos system down here. I've got the 
massive speaker, which I'll show you now, which is my Sonos play bar. But my God, does it kick. Right, let me just flip the camera around again. Yes, yes, so here's my little minimal setup down here. We don't have it too big down in the living room. Um, it's all we need. So there's my big Sonos play bar, uh, which is all wired up wirelessly and Bluetooth. I can play Alexa through it, you know, uh, get the music played through it. Uh, and down here is the Sky Box, the Sky Q Box, and also there's the, the Apple Box as well, with the logo on the top. Very nice. And my 4K player is down there. So it's a modest living room setup but it does what we need down here i get a beautiful picture we get fantastic sound but it's perfect for down in the living room where you know you, you've got relatives you've got family members who that don't want their ears totally blown out with 9.1 visual treats and all that kind of stuff so i hope you enjoyed this little guided tour of my apple 4k tv oh yes uh, oh, there's a, just saw a trailer for Das Boot, the TV series on Sky Atlantic. Wow, that looks good. Anyway, yes, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it'll be a monthly thing. I'm not going to stop doing my Blu-ray hauls. We'll still be doing those, the Blu-ray and the 4K hauls. But I'll be doing this every month as well to show you what I've picked up, what's coming out, kind of like a news review thing as well. So yes, and maybe I'll give a little bit of insight, a little bit of update about what the picture's like and if the sound's kicking <laughs> and what the extras are like. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like the video by giving it a thumbs up. Even if you're totally dedicated to physical and you hate digital, don't give it a thumbs down because I'm only trying to give a little bit of guidance and a little bit of alternative possibility. Um, if you've got no room for your physical media. <laughs> Which we're all bloody running out of room, aren't we? Yes, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, as I say, give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Uh, and there is one thing that I didn't show you. Um, which I'll flip the camera, camera around. But I'll see you next month. Bye. Somebody wasn't bothered with me waffling on for the last 20 minutes. She's well away.